time has come. For 300 years, we prepared, we grew stronger. While you rested in your cradle of power. All right, second video of 2019. Just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed, everyone that's left a comment, everyone that's ever done anything for the channel in any way, a like. Thank you. It's been much appreciated. It's been a crazy year. Crazy year. Channel's bigger than I ever thought it would be. So anyway, let's get to the matter of hand, and that's Captain Karen, also known as Captain Marvel, everyone's non-favorite character, Carol Danvers. Played by Brie Larson, probably the most unlikable person in the universe. Though I will say on the Jimmy Kimmel show, she was quite personable. Other than a couple of woke jokes that she threw out every now and then. Uh, she didn't seem like a terrible person. Like she usually always does when she does interviews. She, cuts, cuts, she has just come off as one of the most unlikable people. And it seems like it seeps into her performance. Because she plays the character like a smug prick. And I think that shows, I wonder how Captain Marvel would have done if it hadn't been sandwiched in between two massive hits and coming out a month before Endgame. They positioned the movie like you needed to see it to enjoy Endgame. And you really didn't. You could skip that movie. In fact, it's the only movie I never bought for my Blu-ray collection because it's useless. You don't need to watch it. But anyway, I think if her performance was better, people would be a little bit more forgiving. Look at old Mark Ruffalo or however you say his last name, uh, the guy who plays the Hulk. He says a lot of stupid stuff all the time, right? But a lot of people like the Hulk. I'm okay with his Hulk. I liked Edward Norton a little bit better, but he's not that bad. He's not that bad. And because of that, I think people are a little more forgiving. Now, one of the reasons I'm bringing this up is I think Disney is starting to realize their mistake. They're running around while well, Kevin Feige was running around and other people, including Bree, were saying, well, yes. Absolutely. Captain Marvel is the most powerful person in the MCU. She's the strongest character. And that really irritated a lot of fans because she's not really, I think Thor is stronger than her, though they want to change that recently uh, where she severed his head in the comic book. That won't last, obviously, but still, uh, they've been trying to push her to be top dog, which is BS because Wanda here, Scarlet Witch, is much more powerful than Captain Marvel ever could wish to be. Uh, Wanda's done some really, really powerful stuff in the comics. Take a look at a really good run. Well, I like it. It's called House of M, where she pretty much warped reality, changed reality completely, and at the end of it, she pretty much eliminates the ability to become a mutant. Uh, she's incredibly powerful, and they've never really touched on it too much. I think they're going to in the upcoming show, WandaVision, which I'm actually really looking forward to. I think that's going to be a really good show. And then she's also going to be in the Doctor Strange sequel, which I'm looking forward to. It's going to look at the multiverse, which I think is really cool. You could do a lot with that if they're smart. Uh, we could see maybe what's going on in other movies, like, you know, what's Tobey Maguire doing in Spider-Man? He could have a cameo. There's some really cool stuff that you could do there. Will they do that? I don't know. We'll see. But Kevin, Kevin Feige has been on that hype train for Captain Marvel forever. Until recently, he said this. So this is an interview that he gave at the New York Film Academy. And somebody asked him who he thought the strongest hero in the MCU was after the events of Avengers Endgame. And he says, I think it's interesting, if you look at Endgame, Wanda was going to take out Thanos, Feige said. That's as scared as I've ever seen Thanos... And if he hadn't said, decimate my entire team to get her off of me, I think she would have done it. So it's really interesting. It's not much. But he didn't jump up and say, well, you know, Captain Marvel held the glove down. And he had to flip his stone into another hand, the power stone, and punch her into another galaxy to beat her. No, he brought up Wanda, which I thought was very telling. Now, Kevin's a smart man. He's also probably trying to hype up her TV show and stuff like that, but he's had a huge chubby for Captain Marvel for the longest time, the way he's hyped her, even after that movie came out. So I was kind of surprised to see this because I would have thought when I read this that it was going to be Captain Marvel. I wasn't even going to use this until I actually sat down and read it. I put it in like my maybe talk about folder for video topics, and then I read it, 
And I saw that he talked about Wanda and I was like, oh, that's really interesting because there's been a lot of rumors that have come out about Captain Marvel that Disney's lost faith in her. They've lost faith in Brie Larson and they're desperate because the original plan was to have her and Peter Parker become the new Iron Man and Captain America. And, you know, with the public not really digging Captain Marvel, they're kind of looking elsewhere now. What else can we do to fix this? Because obviously, you know, a lot of their future success depends on Marvel. Marvel is what Star Wars used to be. And I think they realize that and they want to keep this magic rolling. So they've got to figure stuff out. So very interesting to see. Maybe they're finally coming to some sense and realizing that Brie Larson isn't the financial success that they need to prop up this universe without their two biggest characters. Because even I'm really curious, how is this series, how is this future going to survive without Captain America and Iron Man? Because they were really the big pieces that held up this universe. We'll see. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe Brie Larson will be the bestest ever. And the Marvel Universe will be just fine without their biggest charismatic characters. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, that's pretty much it. I thought this was really interesting because it's kind of some, some shade throwing at Captain Marvel. He's had the biggest chubby for Captain Marvel for the longest time. So I'm interested in seeing what happens here. We'll be watching this. I wonder if he'll say anything else like this again. Anyway. Maybe I'm reading into this too much. I don't know. Uh, to me, Kevin Feige has had the biggest chubby for Brie Larson's Captain Marvel for the longest time. So the fact that he even said this was really mind-blowing to me because he's just been so pro Captain Marvel being the bestest ever for the longest time. So this is kind of a shock. It made me think maybe they're going, maybe the maybe the rumors that they want to take a new direction are true. So anyway. That's pretty much it. Give me your thoughts on this. What do you guys think about this? What do you what do you think about this reaction that he had here? I'm curious to know what you guys think. What do you think about Cosmic Captain Karen and uh, all that good stuff? Remember, likes and comments really help videos out, so please consider leaving some interaction. Also, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed, by the way. They've been doing that weird thing on subscribing people. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.